Gervonta Davis is without a doubt becoming one of the biggest stars in boxing. Thanks to the watchful eye of Floyd Mayweather Jr, Tank Davis has all the potential in the world. In this boxing style analysis today, I'll be taking a closer look at Gervonta Davis' fighting style and what makes him more than just an incredible power puncher. I'll also give you some details on his background and achievements today. But real quick, I just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Box Raw. Box Raw are a pioneering boxing apparel lifestyle brand who produce some of the most innovative sportswear specifically for those that participate in the sport of boxing. They have collaborated with some of the greatest champions from around the world, including the likes of Usyk, Errol Spence Jr. and Gervonta Davis. The company encourages those to strengthen their fitness, grow confidence and even challenge inspiring boxers to become world champions. You may have seen me wear gear in some of my other videos. I highly recommend you check out the Tank Davis collection or even the Hagler sauna suit. Box Raw run sales all year round so make sure to check them out in the description below. On that note, let's get right back into the video. Davis is an American boxer from Baltimore, Maryland, who started boxing from a very young age after he went into foster care. He was then taken up by his current coach, Calvin Ford, who has been his trainer since his amateur days. Davis as an amateur was very successful, winning lots of national championship, along with the prestigious Golden Gloves Championship. In 2012, Davis ended up finishing his amazing amateur career with an incredible record of 206 for 15. At the age of 18, Davis turned professional where he achieved 8 out of 9 knockouts in his first 9 fights. This led to the attention of Mayweather Promotions, with them signing him soon after in 2015. From here, Gervonta Davis would go on to win his first world title at Super Featherweight against Jose Pedazra. After some impressive displays at this weight, the American moved up to lightweight and since then, super lightweight winning the WBA regular world titles in those divisions. Although Davis is not considered as a three-weight world champion by some, he has still proven that he is a massive talent and danger for anyone between 130 to 140 pounds. With so many talented fighters near his weight divisions, he has so much potential to achieve great things in this sport. Gervonta Davis Boxing Style Now Davis is in fact a very good counterpuncher and he shows this through being very patient. Against better opposition, he likes to try figure out his opponent before setting up his incredible power shots. Once he's found out what his competitor is trying to achieve, you'll often see the man from Baltimore start to walk down his opponents as he looks to set up his incredible power shots. Davis is also a southpaw, which helps make him quite awkward to fight against. He also lowers his guard in a way that makes him quite unpredictable in terms of what angle he will throw the punch from, for example an up jab. I'll now go into detail on the key elements and techniques of tank style and highlight some of these in action. The Southpaw Stance As just mentioned, Davis is of course a southpaw, and he'll quite often paw out his jab against orthodox fighters. He does this for both offense and defensive reasons. In terms of defense, it helps to create distance between his opponents who have for the most part been bigger in reach and height than Davis. He stands at 5 foot 6 and has a small reach of 67 and a half inches. He also uses the jab so he knows when to throw punches when he's in range. For his attacks, he likes to set up left hooks and left straight shots to the body of his opponent. Due to his vicious power and the majority of his opponents being bigger than him, they are always very cautious of the body shots, attacking the body. This leads on to my next point, and one of the things that Davis likes to do most is attack the body. Tank tends to invest in body punching early in his fight so he can break them down over the rounds. As he has stepped up in opposition, this is something that he's started to do and is no doubt a tactic his mentor Floyd Mayweather and even his trainer Ford have encouraged him to do. This then helps Tank to set up his big power shots up top later in the fight. Punch Variation Another tactic Davis employs is that he never attacks the same place twice, with not really throwing many double punches. By doing this, it allows much variation in the punch combinations and to also set up his big left hand. This is usually through straight punches or uppercuts. Here he did this amazingly well against Padaja, changing each punch every time he threw it. Subtle Defense and Counters Now this is a very underrated area I feel Tank has, as I believe he has tremendous defense. For the most part, Davis will tend to be in the back foot 
taking small half steps back. This also helps to encourage his opponent to walk him down and get closer to him, as Davis has been generally a lot smaller than the majority of the opponents he has faced. He has perfected bending from the waist and lowering his head to dodge shots, along with amazing reactions. A move he likes to use is to draw out the jab from his opponent. From here, he quickly bends or lowers his head to throw a left counter to the body or head. Likewise, when an opponent starts to try close Davis, he will throw a left straight down the middle with perfect timing and execution. There is also another inspiration of his mentor Floyd Mayweather, with Tank using the shoulder roll at times as a way to deflect shots, in particular the right hand from orthodox fighters. The Killer Finisher now the part we all love about Tank is of course his tremendous finishing ability. There are a few things that he likes to do, but one of his most popular moves is his disguise gazelle hook. This is a brilliant move as there is an unpredictability to where this punch will land. Due to his investment in attacking the body in the early rounds, and also his variation of attacks, this causes his opponent to become indecisive and lower their guard. A simple bend of the waist and the head by Davis allows him to wind up the power behind his punch. The lead hand is also in a lowered position making it appear that it could just be a jab due to the position I just mentioned earlier. I highly recommend you check out my gazelle hook video where I go into detail of some of the past greats using this technique over the years. Another reason how Davis generates much of his power is the way he drives the majority of his body through his feet while twisting his hips. This is no doubt something that has been fundamentally trained into him from a young age. Once Tank has his full heart or does not respect their power, Davis will then go on the hunt by walking them down with a high guard, slipping and parrying anything that comes back at him. It almost reminds me of a prime Canelo. A great example of this recently was his killer blow against Leo Santa Cruz, where he absolutely destroyed him with a left uppercut. Final thoughts. Davis is an exceptional talent, and I very much expect him to develop further over the years into a complete fighter. My one criticism would be his lowered hand position, which could become an issue if he faces a bigger puncher like himself in the future. Nevertheless, it gives him an advantage of that unpredictability, which makes him so dangerous. It'll be interesting to see if he can fight the likes of Haney, Lopez, Taylor, or Garcia in the coming years. If you're a fighter who is smaller in height and reach, but likes to counter punch, I highly recommend you watch Davis. He can be sloppy at times, but generally he is smarter than people give him credit for, and hopefully you can see this from this boxing style analysis. I still believe Davis can improve a lot more, and no doubt his style will develop over the coming years. So guys, that wraps up this boxing style analysis. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Gervonta Davis's style, and do you think he could beat all the names I just mentioned? As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.